how can you teach Adrian about a specific design style you like and get a replicated super high fidelity UI that is not losing any details? So typically, when you try to teach Adrian about a certain style, most of the time you just feed it screenshots and tell it, help me build an app with a similar style. But most of the time, it only gives you something feel like 60 or 70%. A lot of fine green details are just got lost during that translation. But the good news is that pixel perfect vibe design is not impossible. You just need the right process and right context for the agent. And then you'll be able to achieve 100% of what you want. And this is one very specific workflow that I have tried that works really well. We need to give agent more than just screenshots and then co-create an example design that meet 100% of what you want. In the end, we can extract a detailed and accurate style guide that can be used for guiding agent to generate also different design assets. But before we dive into that, I know many of you are building your own product and distribution channel, and there's one concept that is becoming increasingly popular called AEO or GEO, which represents for generative engine optimization. That simply means how often does your product and brand show up during people's conversation with ChatGPT, Perplexity, and many other large language model providers. Because report says already more than 70% of consumers now use ChatGPT for search, and some companies reported to lost more than 80% of traffic from traditional distribution channels like blog. So it is critical to really understand how your brand is performing and how to improve in this new world. That's why I want to introduce you to this free tool, AEO Grader, built by HubSpot. It is completely free. All you need to do is just type in the company name, location, and product service. Then you'll automatically try to fetch data from different large language model providers like OpenAI, Perplexity, and Gemini, and give you a detailed score across multiple different aspects as well as a list of different market competition that is showing up alongside your product and brand. But most importantly, it breaks down all the error improvements. So you got an idea about what you can do to actually improve your brand exposure. So if you want to learn how to do GEO well, I highly recommend you go try out this free tool. I put the link in the description below for you to use for free. And thanks HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the process of creating 100% on brand agility design. And when I say high fidelity context, that means we need to go beyond just screenshots. Large language model today is not that great at extract everything accurately in terms of color, spacing, font, and many other stuff. I actually want to get the real CSS style from the website and send to the agent. And I'll show you where do we get those contacts. And with this information, agent will be able to replicate design much better. But most of the case still, it won't be able to get the 100% design in just one go. You want to co-create a simple page with the agent that really represents the overall style and feeling. And then we can use some special prompts to get agent extract detailed style guide that can really guardrail their further behavior. So with this pipeline, you can turn any website into a detailed and accurate guide that can get agent to design UI, website, or even slide decks. And I will show you my step-by-step -step process. So let's say I really like Mother Duck website style, and I want to copy the same look and feeling. And if you just take a screenshot and send to the agent and ask it to recreate this UI, what you find is that most of the time it will only give you something like 60%. Like this is the result it generated. It looks kind of similar, but the design itself just doesn't feel as high quality as it could be. And some color just doesn't look correct. And the thing with AI generated design is that whatever you have in the code now will be used as a reference to build more stuff. So whatever the first page you design, just set a standard for the rest of the page that agent is going to generate. So how can you train agent on top of existing website that looks really good and get a generate UI at similar level quality? And this one process I often use. Firstly, we want to give agent much more high fidelity context about specific style. So if I want to copy mother doc style, I will just right click inspect, select HTML and just copy the whole style here and still pasting screenshots. But instead of asking to build an app with a similar style directly, the first step I want to do is I just wanted to focus on UI generation. And I would normally ask it to start from recreating a simple page so that it captures the full essence I want as a reference. So I'll give prompt, help me rebuild the exact same UI design in single HTML as motherduck.html. Above is extract CSS. So it will try to create this page that looks kind of similar to the original design. And the purpose of this page is like it kind of set a reference implementation about what the right style look like. And also give you this playground to keep fine tuning the part that doesn't look exactly the same. Because most likely it will make some mistakes. And this is where you can feed agent more context about the right style and ask it to iterate. And there are also free tools you can use like Visbug. 
it basically allows you to get style of specific UI elements very quickly. Like I can click on this and get the correct background color and get back to Adrian. The current background color should be like below. And now you can see the background color is exactly the same and you can keep updating it or iterate to a style that is kind of more personalized to your own brand. But once it's finished, that's where magic can happen. I can tell you that great. Now help me generate detailed style guide. In style guide, you must include the following part. Overview, color play, typography, spacing, component style, shadow animation, border radius, and so on. Then it will generate this detailed style guide, including the specific color plate, topography font, the spacing system, as well as common components. So give Adrian a really good reference. And based on that, now we can ask it to design new UI interface. So I can tell you, help me design a personal to-do UI based on this style in to-do.html. And with this, it can start generating really on-brand design like this, where every single details are very similar to the original design. Meanwhile, this is also one command I often use for UI design specifically, where it includes a list of different design principles that can make sure design generator looks much better. So if I use the same prompt, but with this command, and you will see now the generate UI still have the same style, but it pays a lot more attention to the detail in UI interactions. And once you've got one page that you really like, that's where you can start turning that into a real application. So let's say we just create a new Next.js application in this design app folder, then I can tell it, Great, now let's rebuild this interface in Next.js app in design app folder to be pixel perfect. And it has everything breakdown as reusable components, which means now you can ask agent to create a new page and new functionality, and it's going to look very similar and consistent. For example, now I can ask to help me add a new feature to add description and due date for each task. The new UI generator is gonna follow exactly the same style. We can even ask it to create something more advanced and complicated. It also help me add an analytics dashboard for the tasks. And the result generated is fully aligned with the overall design system that you have set up. But that's not only it. One of the main artifacts from this process is this style guide MD file that can be used not only for designing websites, but also all sorts of different artifacts. Like you can also get it to generate on brand slide deck as well. Like I can just prompt it and saying, please make a slide deck based on this style. Then it generated a nice slide deck using exactly the same style. And we can explore that into templates. You can even get Adrian to generate part of demo videos and animation that is on brand with similar style too. There's one library called Framer Motion that can enable you create a smooth animation with real React components. And that animation can be interactive as well. And all we need to do, just give a prompt, please use Framer Motion to create part of demo animation where users type in task detail and add a new task using the real UI components. And for our application, it will start generating a nice animated UI like this. And you can embed in your own website or export it using it in video as well. And you can even use this context and importing other design tools as well. For example, I can copy the style guide and use Google Stitches, which is AI design tools, just pasting in the whole design guide and maybe even the reference HTML page and ask to help me design all screens for a habit tracker app. Then it will generate the full stack of UI within the similar style. Meanwhile, I also want to introduce you to this new tool I built called Super Design Extension. It is Chrome extension where you can open any web page you like and give a prompt like help me extract design system guide from this web page. Then we will automatically clone this web page into a pixel perfect manner and scan through all the different style files within the page and generate high fidelity style guide. And if you export it, you will get a production ready React project with all the components breakdown as well as this style guide.md file that you can use for any other projects. I have put the extension link in the description below so you can try out for free. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and I see you next time.